PBC is a rare medical condition. PBC stands for primary biliary cholangitis. It's a medical condition that affects the small bile ducts in the liver. These are little tubes that drain the bile from the liver into the main bile duct. Over a period of time, the liver disease impacts on the bile ducts by causing inflammation and scarring called fibrosis. And eventually, if untreated, this may lead to more severe fibrosis or scarring and cirrhosis of the liver. PBC is an autoimmune liver condition whereby the body's own healthy immune system becomes overactive and attacks healthy liver cells and liver tissue. We do not understand why the immune system is fully activated to attack the liver in this manner. It is thought that we inherit genes that predispose us to this medical condition. These genes may be activated by environmental triggers, such as urinary tract infections, smoking, and even certain chemical exposures, although that is not fully understood. Most people are not aware they have PBC and do not have symptoms. It is often picked up incidentally when one goes to the doctor and has blood tests for an unrelated medical condition. The doctor may then look at doing further blood tests such as autoimmune blood tests and autoantibodies to try and clarify that you do have PBC. They may then go on to as well order certain scans such as an ultrasound, a fibro scan or other more sophisticated imaging of the bile ducts to make sure you don't have another condition that can present in a similar way. Sometimes it is necessary to have a liver biopsy to clarify that you do have PBC and you don't have some other autoimmune liver condition. The mainstay of treatment is a medication called ursodeoxycholic acid, which is a derivative of a bile salt that we make in our own bodies that is a healthy bile salt. It is a well-tolerated medication and most people will be prescribed this long term. If you do not respond to this treatment or, or are one of the rare people who do not tolerate the treatment, we now have available on the PBS authorization a medication called obetacolic acid. This is a good addition to the ursodeoxycholic acid and will treat more people. In addition, we sometimes use a cholesterol lowering agent called phenofibrate or similar. This is, drug is used in combination with ursodeoxycholic acid and obetacolic acid. I would like to emphasize as well, there are newer drugs completing phase three clinical trials, which gives a bright future for this medical condition. And these medications should become available in the next few years. Most people with PBC have a very good outcome if they have ongoing regular treatment. Some patients, however, do not respond to treatment and will develop complications. This is a consequence of scarring of the liver bile ducts, which we call fibrosis, and this may lead to cirrhosis. Those people may need to have a liver transplant if they develop liver failure. Other more common complications that can occur on a day-to-day -day basis include significant tiredness and fatigue. It is very important that you first of all go and discuss this with your doctor to make sure you're optimizing your health, you're receiving adequate rest, diet and exercise and appropriate supplements. Other complications that can occur are an elevated cholesterol that can lead to its own complications and osteoporosis or brittle bones. Both of these conditions have medications that are easily accessible and you can receive those and get good treatment. Some patients develop a profound itch and that is a little bit more complicated to treat but you need to discuss that with your doctor and pharmacist so you can receive appropriate treatment. Other people 
develop fluid overload where they retain fluid and develop swollen legs and ankles or a swollen belly and there are medications for this so again it is important that you discuss this with your GP or specialist. I would encourage people who are diagnosed with PBC to think in a very positive manner. They're good medications, there's increasing availability of newer medications and we are very good at treating the complications of the condition today. So I would encourage you to engage your medical practitioners and make best use of their knowledge to have a positive outlook on your condition.